זה ככה בדיוק ב-12, רבע ל-12 בלילה, בדיוק נכנסתי למיטה, עוד לא נרדמתי, פתאום כל העולם נפל עליי. On February 29, 1960, an earthquake shook the city of Agadir in southern Morocco. One of the most disastrous and fatal earthquakes in the history of the country. It brought a whole city to the ground. 80% of the building collapsed. About 12,000 people, making a third of the city's population, perished. 25,000 injured and 35,000 more were left homeless. The day the quake struck, Vivian's home collapsed. Her body was badly injured, and she was trapped under the rubble. Vivian Paris was born to a Jewish family in Agadir before the earthquake took away most of her family members. She survived a few days under the ruins until an American rescue team found her. She was then taken to the hospital because she was severely injured. The Red Cross organization made adoption arrangements for the newly orphaned children. Vivian was adopted by a religious Catholic family in Belgium. <laughs> A year later, Vivian discovered that her mother had survived the earthquake. Vivian left her adoptive family and reunited with her mother, who was staying in a synagogue in Morocco. They finally immigrated to Israel, where Vivian moved to a Jewish Orthodox school. Today, Vivian resides in North Tel Aviv. She got married twice and has four children. Elohim, take me to the doctor. If you want to go here, if you want to go here, if you want to go here, I'll stay with Vivian. ואני עוד מאמינה שכל, שקיבלתי המון כוח, המון אנרגיה מזה שהייתי קבורה תחת לאדמה במרוקו. אז זה מאוד חזק אצלי הנושא של מרוקו. זה מתחיל מהבית, אפילו את יכולה לראות דרך המפה של השולחן, דרך הסדינים שלי במיטה, הכל זה מרוקו, זה המשכיות. לא יודעת איפה אני תיירת, אם אני פה תיירת או שם תיירת. אייל, אתה שומע על סבתא מה שלא שמעת אף פעם בחיים? לא, אבל אני מכיר אותו. אתה מכיר אותו?